this lesson, you will learn how to create a test runner for UFT in ALM Octane. You need to have a CI server set it up, such as Jenkins, in order to integrate UFT using the test runner. Additionally, you need to make sure that all your UFT test cases are stored in a source code repository, such as Git or SVN. I will use here GitHub where all my test cases are stored. So this is my GitHub repository where I have a lot of test cases stored for UFT and these test cases I would like to appear and manage in ALM Octane. They will not be removed from Git, so Git will be the source repository and ALM Octane will just create test cases which are referring and linked to these real test cases in the source code management system. So let's create a test runner for UFT in ALM Octane. Let's go to settings, spaces. Now in your project, go to the tab DevOps. Make sure you have a CI server integrated. In my case, it's Jenkins. Now click on test runners. I have already a test runner integrated for my Maven Surefire project where Selenium test cases are running. Now I would like to add an additional test runner for UFT. So click on add test runner, give it a name. This name is only for you, so give it a logical name so you are able to identify your test runner later on. Select a framework, select a CI server, and now select where your test cases are stored. Is it a Git repository or SVN? Enter the URL to your repository, so in my case it's GitHub. Enter username and password. Press on test connection. And now you can see that the connection was successful. You can save it here. What Octane has done is Octane has created two jobs in Jenkins for discovering the test cases. So whenever a new test case is saved in the source code repository or changed, it will discover it and the test execution job to perform the test execution for UFT test. So these are two jobs will, which will uh, run. So the discovery job will run periodically and the test execution job will be triggered whenever you create a test suite in ALM Octane and press the run suite button. So let's go back to ALM Octane to see if we are able to identify already test cases. Let's go back to the workspace. Now go to the quality module. And in the quality module, I can see already I have a lot of test cases inserted in ALM Octane. And now I will select few to X to be executed from here. So I will execute those three and also this one. So let's select one, two, three, and four test cases. I will put them into a test suite. So let's name it regression tests, regression suite, add an edit. Now you can see these are all my UFT test cases which I have inserted. The first three are headless, so they will just report pass or fail. And the last one should execute a test on a UI. So let's execute and run the test cases from here. Just click on Run Suite. Let's run. And now you can see a new run is created. I will click on the ID. And I can see that the test runner is being initialized. And the test cases are in progress. So let's jump to my environment. 
here I can see that the UI test is running. It's entering the data and now the UI test is completed and the test case is executed. And now we should see the result in ALM Octane. So let's go back to Octane. Here I can see that the test cases are now updated and I can see also the results. So let's first look into the failure, which was a flat failure, uh, test failed. It just reported the test failure. And I can click and launch directly from Octane the UFT test result. So I can see here exactly the UFT test result, which has been launched from Octane. And I can also view a detailed one. So let me go to the test case, which had more steps and launch the result from here on the test execution, is it? So it's on the automated run. And here I can see exactly the execution, which was performed with all the steps I've planned. They have been executed and I can see it directly here in ALM Octane or from ALM Octane. And this way I can easily integrate UFT test directly in ALM Octane and keep them running whenever I need it as part of my test suite.